It's been a few years since my first video about jumping with horses. Flora and I had a whole lot of fun since. We did a few competitions, jumping leagues, hunter trials, fun cross-country rides, you name it. All at a relatively low height of 80 cm or so and never really ambitiously competitive because what I want mostly is just to have a good time with my horse. And it was plenty for our skills and fitness level and kept us entertained and excited. At some point, in addition to the feel-good moments and great sensation of working our way over the jumps as one harmonious horse rider unit, I started thinking about the process of jumping more carefully. But why did my brain suddenly kick into consciously processing and analysing our jumping? It all seemed to come so naturally and effortlessly before. Maybe because of a couple of falls or near falls, some unsettling stumbles before or after jumps, or because of overhearing some gruesome story of a jumping accident, bringing my knowledge of the risk involved in jumping with horses more into focus. Anyway, this thinking about it all unsettled me quite a bit. There was so much more to know and much more scope for improving my own and my horse's skill to jump safer. It ate away at my confidence and sadly at Flora's too. So something had to happen about it. Well, understanding more about the technicalities of jumping is also a very interesting learning process. And now that we are some way further down the line, I thought I'd start a small series about what I have picked up so far because it might possibly help some of the riders amongst you too. Flora is an Irish cob. Like all horses, she has the built-in physical ability to jump. But she belongs to a breed that is not really designed to jump competitively at higher level due to how they are built and use their bodies. But Flora enjoys a bit of jumping just for fun and considering her heavy legs and tendency to put her weight more on her two front legs, she's doing it quite well. Flora has always been more confident with cross-country jumps. By nature, she is a slow thinker and having a long run up to the jump and some time in between jumps to process them suits her well. Show jumping has always been more of a challenge and I found that we struggle to progress. From just hopping over things as they come along and knocking a few poles in the process to confidently and safely navigating through a course with style, vigour and as little knocks as possible. I noticed that the more I thought about the jumps ahead, the more we struggled. I started to think about rhythm, approach, takeoff, turns, angles, strides, you name it. Of course, Flora and I always had a good enough rhythm in trot and canter to get us over the jumps. But with me picking all this apart, our takeoffs became more and more patchy and I realised how much Flora was relying on me to guide her confidently. And when I got less confident, she struggled too. At her age of eight years, and with many show jumping courses behind her, she should now really be able to navigate through a course with more independent thinking, not absolutely relying on me to give her the exact signal for takeoff and feed her with my confidence. I realised that I maybe did not give her enough chance to work it all out by herself in her own time when she was younger. How she needs to be aware of her body and take charge to synchronise her four legs to get over the jump. She was relying a lot on chance, it seemed. So here's what I started doing in an attempt to help us both. Free jumping. 
That is when you put up a few jumps in a fenced-in area and let the horse jump over them in their own time, with no rider on board. I noticed that, on her own, Flora preferred to run out or cut corners to avoid the jump. Not surprising, because she was faced with this whole jumping thing on her own. Suddenly, with no guidance from me. That must have been unsettling for her, physically and emotionally. Someone suggested I join her up with another horse for moral support and confidence. And what a difference that made. Here she is, jumping with Winnie, her mum. All you need for a free jumping exercise is a fenced-in area with soft surface. The fence should be high enough so that the horse is not tempted to jump out. For the jumps, I use wooden round poles from our local farm shop, old tyres and old empty plastic barrels, all reasonably cheap or freely available. So you don't need to spend lots of money on fancy show jumping equipment if you're just starting out with your horse. I was so inspired by seeing Flora and Winnie having a workout together that I paired up Henry and Daisy and tried them at free jumping as well. For a free jumping session, I start the horses off with the poles lying flat on the ground. Make sure to give them time to loosen their muscles and joints, especially if they are stabled and have been standing still all day. Most likely, when the horses start out, they will be happy to run around freely for a while, do a bit of bucking and kicking, so make sure they don't run up too close to you and, if in doubt, wear a helmet and gloves. I also use a short lunging whip as an extension to my arm, especially Flora can be a bit of a chancer to see can she make this whole new mental and physical challenge go away by running at me. Before she gets too close, I wave my whip at her, never to hurt her, just to remind her who's in charge. A good spacing between the poles for this exercise is about two and a half steps for my horses, but the length of their stride is different from horse to horse. You will work out what distance your horses work best at. If they keep on struggling to catch their step, move the poles closer together or further apart until it looks right. Let the horses walk, trot and canter over the poles in their own time. That's how they can work out how best to lift their legs. They prefer not to touch the poles, so they will make sure to figure this out eventually. For a bit more of a challenge, prop up one side of some of the poles. This is the way Henry does it sometimes. Then put a pole up a bit higher, just sit it on a couple of tyres for a start. At this stage it depends how much schooling you've done with your horses already and how much they've jumped. You can take it as slowly as you like and call it a day at this point and repeat again in a few days. As my horses have all jumped substantial jumps already, I put one pole straight up onto the barrel, which is about 60 centimeters high. But if you want to start lower, absolutely do, because your horse's safety should come first and you don't want to set them up for failure with a pole too high. Sometimes they will choose to run out. That's okay. The whole point of this exercise is to let them do the jumps in their own time. When they are ready, they will jump. I sometimes use my whip. No need to actually touch the horses with it, but I use it as an extension to my arm to guide them towards the jump, because they can be a bit lazy sometimes and keep on avoiding it. Also, they'd be well able and up for it. 
cobs tend to need a bit more convincing sometimes that physical activity can be great fun. They are brilliant at preserving their energy whenever possible. When your horse is comfortable at jumping one higher jump, add another one a few strides behind it. I space them at a distance of five or seven and a half of my steps. I know that they can fit their own strides into this space without having to adjust them too much. These are exercises for a 30 minute workout at the most. Keep it to 15 minutes if your horse is not very fit. And the trick is to not do the same exercise every day. Give the horse plenty of time to process what they have learned between sessions. Maybe aim at one session per week, working your way up to two, or maybe even three if you're training towards a goal like competition. We've been practicing free jumping now for three months or so, and the progress is remarkable from hesitantly stumbling over poles, Flora and the other horses too, happily tackle poles at 60 to 80 centimeters on their own. And it's not just their skills that have improved, their confidence has too. With growing confidence, of course, they enjoy it all even more. And watching them to do so well and enjoy themselves boosts my confidence in return. Well done, Flora. You did so well today. And uh, thanks for watching. This is it for this part. Um, I hope some of you are inspired to give it a go with your horse. Why not? And um, all the best. And we see you for part two soon. Okay, take care.